How are you getting on, folks? Um, look at I think today sums up why I try and avoid English racing more so than the Irish racing. Um, severely, severely disappointed in myself. To be perfectly honest, I was hoping for at least three, maybe four, possibly even five winners today, but to only come out with one, um, I'm going to put my hands up and just say it's a bad day. It's uh, it's not really what I was expecting or what I was hoping, but sure, look at it's over now. We we have to brush it off and we have to focus on uh, the future and going forward and trying to rebuild back what we aim to set up really with, with everything else. Um, Kilbegan tomorrow. It's a tricky course, lads. It's it's really, really tricky. What the best way to do with Kilbegan, and I've always said it, is you're better off to just stick the the... I suppose the race card up on the wall, get your darts ready and fire them at it, uh, trying to pick the winners there. It's it's a very, very tricky course. You need to be in the front three, front four, front five, maybe to to realistically be in with any sort of chance. Now saying that, you could have one that just comes out of the clouds and comes from absolutely nowhere off the pace and and nabs your lad on the line. Um it's just a really, really tricky course to get it right. But when you do get it right, and when you when you do have Ever- Everton on board, it's generally a very, very enjoyable course to be at. Uh, I've said it before. I think it's the only course in Ireland that has its own re- resident DJ when the when the racing is on. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a madhouse, and it's it's definitely one of the smaller tracks in Ireland. But uh, if you're ever looking to go to a race meeting when they open up again, I do definitely suggest to go go to Kilbegan. It's a, it's always a a very very good day out. Um, everything else like that. T- tomorrow is definitely promised to be lovely race. Um, race weather for the likes of Kilbegan. It, it's a beautiful course on a on a fine summer's day, and that's what we're hopefully going to have planned for tomorrow. Um, we may as well crack on with it. We may as well get on onto the races, races itself. I've got an awful lot of these in here that I would definitely be fairly confident in. Um, there's eight, eight races. I'm going to be covering six of them because two of them are going to be my patron picks of the day. So I'm not going to be covering that, but we will get onto that then. Uh, if you're willing to say sign up for the the ten euro a month, but. I, I'll explain it all further anyway. First of all, the first race off the 245. You have a Denise Foster uh, duo ahead in the market here. One partner with Jamie Codd, one partner with Jack Kennedy. And I'm going to be siding with the latter with Jack Kennedy. Um, return to base at 11 to 4. Look, at realistically, what I'm going off here is the two of them coming from the same field or the same uh, the same yard. Um Obviously, look at Jack Kennedy is known to be the stable number one jockey. I'd imagine between the two of these, he would have a choice. Uh, he's gone with the unraced sword, Flemingsburg Mayor. Um, generally, look at when you're looking for a horse that's going to run sort of well in these sorts of conditions. You want a horse that's going to run um, that's bred, say, from the a family of this sort of a trip. Now, the race race today is uh over two mile three this horse here is bred uh from a family of two mile four to two mile six uh potentially a little bit short but i wouldn't worry too much about that on debut i think if this horse is anyway good enough i think it's going to be definitely uh well it should realistically be there there in the finish and i think the fact that jack kennedy is on board says it all um I'm not necessarily convinced with the favorite here. It's had two runs, both of them were fourth. Didn't really show much progression since. Um, and I just think even money is a little bit too short for especially around Kilbegan. Uh, keep a close eye on Kieran Murphy's horse here, uh, Coastal World at nine to two. I think this one here could be the main danger of the whole lot of these. Um, obviously, look at being a local trainer as well. It's definitely a small bit interesting, but I think. If you're looking for a winner, you're better off siding with the Denise Foster and Jack Kennedy pairing. I think they could just be that little bit too good on debut. 
Now, moving on into the 320 of an odds on favorite in here with not available. I can see why it looks to be the standout horse of the race, but the one that's catching my eye at a bigger price is Raven Queen at 33 to 1. This one is going to be one of two of the big price um, fancies for me. Uh, trained by Daniel Murphy, uh, ridden by Mr. J.G. Murphy, claiming seven pounds. I don't know. It's possibly Jamie Murphy. I don't know. Um, but this one here is definitely very, very interesting. Uh, when you look at the last time this horse ran in Cork, uh, it was seventh, but it was only 11 lengths behind in, se- in seventh. Definitely showed an awful lot more improvement than what it has, has done. Uh, looks to be starting to come into his own now. I think if there's a if there's a horse that's going to take on the favorite here, now realistically look at it, the form of the favorite here reads three and two. The third was behind uh, Percy Warner and flanking maneuver. Now flanking maneuver, I think has won since he has he won next time out. So the form of that has been uh, franked, and uh, second then behind Mister Cold Stone. Um, who finished 12th of 13 next time out and fell um, from five runners the the time after that. So it's a bit hit and miss. I think uh, potentially this one here could be worth in each way. This one of Murphy's horses. Uh, Seven pounds claimed off. Uh, Favourites in here off 12 stone. I can't remember what exactly this this lad here is is in. So he's in off uh, 11 stone, seven. So seven pounds being claimed off. He's basically getting a stone in hand off the favorite. I think if the if there's a horse that's going to, to let's just say, put it up to the favorite, this lad could be it. But look at it, it's a chance and it's a small, small chance that he has. But I'm going to be saying that he's a little bit overpriced at 33 to one and could run a very, very good race at that. Moving on then to the 355 and we're going to go with another Fairly big price fancy here with this one. Beat of the Sea for Seamus Fahey and Ryan Tracy. Uh, 20 to 1. This one here, I can't understand how this is 20 to 1. Um, usually this horse saves its best for around Kilbegan and saves its best around good ground as well. Um, obviously loves the track. as a bit of a track stale where it puts in some very, very decent efforts. Uh, generally a very decent sort um, at an each way. Uh, punt more so than anything else. I know I put it up last year when it won. I think it's sixteen or twenty to one. Um, it was a it was a very impressive winner that particular day. But it just loves it around Kilbegan, and I just think twenty to one for a horse that's proven around this track, and it's a track that you need to know how to get around more so than anything else. Um, it's just very interesting, and I think twenty to one is definitely overpriced. I think he's going to run a very very big race tomorrow. Uh, definitely well worth considering for an each way perspective now moving on then to the 430 we're actually not going to be moving on to the 430 because that's one of my patron picks of the day the 505 is going to hold a nap of the day with part-time farmer at six to four now look at it whatever way you want i cannot see this horse being beaten definitely looks a mile um classier uh compared to the rest of the field but like I said, around Kilbegan, that doesn't say much. Generally, a model of consistency with a bunch of seconds and thirds behind it. I think the time is starting to come now when the horse is finally going to get its head in front. Put in a very, very decent effort last time um, on, on its hurd- was it his hurdling, hurdling debut. Its hurdling debut went second to Salt Wind. Now, Salt Wind um, has been generally very, very consistent, more so than anything else. But when you look down through the form, T's components, yes, for Shark Hanlon. That one next time out, I think, was it next time out or the time after? Um, next time out, it only won there a couple of days ago in, where was it in? It was in Limerick, um, and a very impressive winner at that. Uh, so the farm has been backed up. I think any sort of improvement at all is going to see this horse uh, get its head in front. I think, realistically, it doesn't need to improve a hell of a lot more uh to do so and i think six to four is definitely a bit of a value price in these sorts of conditions now moving on then to the 535 what have i gone with here um i've gone with ellipsism uh for mick winters and darrell o'keefe 
let me explain why I know an awful lot of people are going to be liking pictures of home and the form of his races are is definitely standing up. But his style of running will not suit Kilbegan whatsoever tomorrow. Um, like this horse is generally a hold up horse and he needs to be held up at a fairly slow pace. Kilbegan is a galloping track, I would say. I wouldn't necessarily call it a staying track. You need to be there at the front and you need to be there in the front pickings to, to realistically have any sort of a chance. It's a bit of a slingshot bend uh, coming around the last and, and the finishing line is very, very close to the bend. Uh, so it doesn't give you too much room for maneuver there. Um, I think it's not necessarily poor race planning, in my opinion. I think the horse is definitely on a on a on a given day, he's the best of the field, but I just don't think he's gonna like Kilbegan whatsoever. And I think that's gonna be the shortcoming here. I think ellipsism, course and distance winner, you have it there in the books. Um generally saves his best for around here. Um he's look at he since Giant and Mick Winters, he's he's definitely started to show signs of his old self. Uh, with partnered with Dara O'Keefe, Dara absolutely loves it around Kilbegan. Whatever it is about Kilbegan, you see this man turn into the likes of AP Mackay. He just, the way he rides is absolutely, it, 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 it's a perfect fit for Kilbegan. He's just like, I, I don't know what way to describe it. He's just, like he's he's so talented and he's so good at getting front run and sorts to to really rally going to the line. And you need that for Kilbegan. And I just think ellipsism is going to be that little bit too good. I think the fact that he's a course and distance winner before definitely stands up. If I'm not mistaken, he's the only course and distance winner um, of the field. He is. He's the only course and distance winner of the field as well. And um, yeah, that, that should definitely nail it down tomorrow exactly what we should be hoping for anyway 605 is going to be another patron pick for me so i'm not going to be covering it but finally then the 635 and i was really really intrigued by the run of skull last time out skull is currently trading at six to one trained by noel mead ridden by pat taft claiming seven um i just think that he is going to be a little bit too good um for, for this sort of a field. Now, he was a beaten favourite and a very well beaten favourite in his debut run in Galway. Now, he was well fancied that particular day and I know there's an awful lot of whispers going around about him, but uh, last time out then, he wasn't fancied at all. Finished a very good fifth behind the likes of Elite Charbonnier, Given Wings, Edison Kent, Drummer, uh, ahead of the likes of uh, the Virginian, uh, William Wolf, No Logic, Any Day Now, Black Star Rocco, um, Don Magnifica, Cotty McAvenny goal fell. That horse has since put up a win in a second. So look at make of it what you will. I think it was definitely an improved run. I think the fact that he's moving back into a uh, bumper company here definitely. Look, it shows that the horse maybe just needs to progress a little bit more, but I think it's a weak enough field. The Cotty, um, I don't know, I can't, I can't make head nor tail of this favorite for Willie Mullins. Um, and midnight it is doesn't really scream a winner for me. So, Barncroft, I know, look, you can make excuses for it, but. At the, at the same time, he finished a long way back, but I don't know. There's something just calling to Skull for me at 6-1. to one. And look, he's, he's, he's at an each-way price, so he could definitely be well worth an each-way. I think the form of of, uh, of, of of the last race especially is definitely uh, working out best of the, let's just say, best of those that, that have had a run and, and, and are really starting to, to show their true colours. And I just think if there's a horse that's going to take on the favourite here, Skull could definitely be the one to do it. 
Uh, but look, I'm going to leave it there. Please make sure to keep liking, sharing and subscribing. Like I said uh, in previous videos, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of June. I don't know how realistic that is now. Um, the, the subscribers haven't really grown in the past couple of days, but look, at we're, we, we live in hope and we, we keep trying to push forward as best we can. As well as that, for those who want to sign up to the Patreon, I leave a link in the description below. It's €10 euro a month, but please be aware that uh, the monthly subscription is automatic and it's automatic from the first day of each month. So if you're going to be signing up now, please just be aware that you're going to be charged again on the 1st of May. Um, unfortunately, it's out of my hands that way. It's the way Patreon work their, their books, everything else like that. But um, I'll be doing a monthly giveaway tomorrow of a cash prize. So if you want to get in, involved for that, uh, by all means, you can. Um, as well as that, then we will be giving away uh, next month's monthly giveaway fairly shortly after the the month has uh the, the month has started so we'll be hoping to get it done by the first week or maybe the second week but generally i i, I think we're going to get it done by the first week I, I we want to get it done and out of the way and focus on the tips more so than anything else but um realistically look at that's all i have really any time for now at this stage want to wish you all the very very best of luck i want to apologize as well for the woeful show that we put in there today but uh look at hopefully with being back on, on familiar stomping ground now i'm hoping that look is going to tr going to change now again uh look at please make sure to keep liking sharing and subscribing best of luck tomorrow if you're going to be having a bet and uh we'll see you all tomorrow again